Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. We're going to read verses 1, 2, and 3 of Psalms chapter 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Mm, I like that promise. Because, you know, sometimes we are guilty of being lazy. Some of us, our Bibles collect more dust than anything else. So when we start to walk in the Spirit, we don't have much to go on because we can't remember what we have not read. Input, output. So if we want to bear much fruit, we have to put a lot in in order for the seeds of God's Word to germinate in our spirits. And if his word germinates in our spirits, then we begin to bear more and more fruits of righteousness. Now, this is what I want to share with you. We have to be careful. This is our little warning, our little admonition. I have to watch out for myself too. Because of all the little changes my body has gone through, I tend to sleep more than I normally would, a lot more. So I have to fight the laziness, the tendency to be lazy and not want to bear down and read the Word. Because the Word is the life source for our walk with the Lord. The Word is the lifter up of our head. The Word strengthens us on the inner man. The Word of God empowers us. It feeds us. It nourishes us in so many ways. It changes our mindsets from flesh to spirit. Anyway, so what I want to say about that is many of us run the danger of, of yielding to the temptation of chilling. We want to chill, right? What you doing? I'm chilling. What you doing? I'm chilling. Yeah, mellow is a cello. But what happens is when you chill, you tend to nap. When you nap, you're asleep. When you sleep, you're not getting anything done. You're not accomplishing anything you're pretty much non-productive. Now, the only purpose for sleep is rest. And if you've gotten all the rest you need, then you don't really need any more. So you have to fight that urge. And we tend to be spiritual couch potatoes. We want to chill. We want to lay. We want to lay back. We want to, you know, be copostatic and cruise. But Prayer and reading God's word, seeking God's face, getting insight, dealing with our situations, getting to understand ourselves, life, and humanity, basically, so that we can navigate through this journey of ours with as few bumps as possible. Well, that takes work. Reading the word is work, but it's worth it. Prayer is work, but it's worth it. So there are times when you can say a casual prayer. Oh, Lord, I wish I could do this. Could you please make that happen? Can you please open the door for that? Boom. Then there are other times when you have to pray through a situation and you have to pray through it in order for you not to hurt somebody while you're in your dilemma. So you have to bear down and press in 
and you have to press into the Holy of Holies. You have to cry out to God. You have to strain and push and fight and do battle on your knees or whatever position, if you lay prostrate before the Lord, whatever position you're in, you've got to battle through this prayer. So think about it. There are some prayers that won't be answered unless you fight your way through and get your breakthrough. And you feel it in your spirit when you've broken through. You feel it. Then there are other times when you have to pray in humble submission. God, I don't want to do this, but I'll mess it up if you don't help me. And you literally have to pour your heart out before God. Ask him to help you, to prop you up on your leaning side, to strengthen you where you're weak, confess the areas where you're not doing too well, be real, be honest with him. The areas you know you need to follow the word, you know what the word says because you're reading it, but your flesh and you, you don't want to do it God's way because you really want to get back at somebody. And you almost feel like a fool, like you look like a fool if you do it God's way. But you're asking God to help you. And sometimes you have to, you have to sweat, cry, beat your flesh into submission in prayer in order to obey and handle your dilemma God's way. Okay, don't become a spiritual couch potato, please. You will slow down your growth process. Don't be slow to read and quick to play. When you do that, you become neutralized. You tend to water your walk down. You weaken yourself. You weaken your resolve. Because now you're entertaining yourself, warming yourself by the devil's fire, by entertaining yourself by the world's source of entertainment, which is not always sinful, but it's non-productive. And all the things you could be doing and all the areas, all the areas in which you could be growing, you're not. You're stagnant because you're playing rather than praying. It's way more fun to play. We know that. But if you really, 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 really want to make progress and get it, I mean, get down and dirty as quickly as possible because you know that time is winding up. We're in the last days. You have to be as strong as you can be. Then now is the time. Now is the time to press in and pray, not play. And now is the time to wake up and not sleep, not Use your Bible as a paperweight or a source of decoration to impress others when they come over. But you need to know what's in that book. That is your manual, your instruction manual. Okay, I'm done and I hope that that helps you. I needed to. I'm not just talking to you, I'm talking to me. We all tend to fall into that, but we have to really watch it because that's one thing Satan can get us with. If he can't get you with sin, he'll let you sleep your life away. He'll let you entertain yourself sprawled out on the couch, pigging out and chilling. Anyway, God bless you. And the reason I'm saying all that is because if you get yourself in line now, when the arrows start to come and the attacks start to bombard you and things throw you off your, off, off your feet and you're hit from your blind side, you'll know how to handle it and you'll be ready for battle. But if you're not prepared, mm, Taint gonna be pretty, y'all. I'm serious. God bless you. Please take heed. 
This is not the time to play. It's time to press in, seek God, and pray. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7.14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. God bless you.